Hi teachers, I'm excited to show you how to create a video response assignment. Basically, you send students a link and when they open it, they click on it, it prompts them to record their response and submit to you. They do not need to download an extension or do any complicated step. They simply just click on the link, record, and submit. Screencastify Submit is a whole lot more simple, fast, and safe for your students to record and submit videos of themselves or of their screen. If you want to learn how you can record your screen on Screencastify, then I have another tutorial for that and I'll link that video down below in the description. Make sure you like and subscribe for more teacher tech tutorials. Okay, so let's get started. Step one, let's go to Screencastify Submit. You can either go um, through your extension link. If you already have Screencastify, you would go to this icon right here and then click down and go to Submit. Or if you Google Screencastify Submit, it'll take you here. And when you click on Get Started for Free, it opens up your Screencastify Submit free version. Step two, click on new assignment here you select what type of video you want your students to submit you have two options they can record with their webcam only or they can record their screen i'll give you some quick examples of how you can use these two for webcam students can submit assignments in which they can explain something they can reflect on something they learned they can go on a hunt looking for shapes arrays or fractions around their house or they can simply record the answer to a question. For screen recording, here students would not be seen on the video, only their screen. They can narrate a slideshow, solve a word problem and explain their thinking process. They can record their reading fluency, or they can use digital manipulatives to explain a math concept. Choose which option you want. Click next, and then you're gonna come up with a title and give the instructions to the student of what they will be doing in the video. Then you're gonna configure your settings. You have to decide who gets to see the link, who has access to it, and who can view the video after they record. Now all you have to do is copy this link and share either in your Google Classroom, your Schoology course, wherever you assign your students their assignments. You can also preview your assignment by clicking on preview and it'll show them this page where the students will be asked to turn on their mic and webcam and you'll see what the instructions and assignment looks like for them. After they turn on their camera, they can click record and begin recording their assignment. Hi, when they end the video, they will get three options. They can retake the video, play it to see what it looks like, or use the video for their assignment. And finally, they click submit. Here's an example of another assignment I created where the student would have to record their screen. I labeled it place value, and I'm instructing the class to di use digital base 10 blocks from didex.com to represent the number. I would also explain to them that I want them to explain their thought process as they're doing the assignment. They would simply click record and they would get a countdown. Once they see that the, the time is going, then they can begin and they would go complete their assignment and explain their thought process. And whenever they're done, they would stop the recording or they can start over if they feel that they need to redo it. Once they stop the recording, they can preview what they did and submit. On your Screencastify Submit dashboard, you'll be able to see the assignments and how many students have submitted the video. If you lose the video link and you need to share it again, you can copy it again. And if you click on submissions, it'll automatically take you to your drive and you can view the videos there. I hope you found this video helpful. Screencastify Submit is a whole lot more simple, fast, and safe for your students to record and submit videos of themselves or their screen. Don't forget to like this teacher tech tutorial and feel free to ask any question on the comments.